Shaquille O'Neal is one of the most popular basketball players thanks to his career success and enormous seven foot height. Besides a tall statue of himself in the middle of his $28 million mansion, Shaq also boasts a massive 17 car garage just for his own car collection. We're taking a peek at Shaquille O'Neal's legendary car collection. Ford F650 pickup truck. That's the car Shaquille O'Neal drives the most. It definitely shows the amount of time and money he has dedicated to his customization. The truck comes with a standard V8 6.7 liter diesel engine that can make 330 horsepower and 750 foot-pounds of torque. Shaq gave his ride many upgrades that you will usually find in smaller luxury cars, such as a better infotainment system and heated leather seats. With all the modifications, his custom F650 is estimated to be worth around $124,000. Ferrari 355F1 Spider. How can the NBA's biggest giants fit inside a mid-engine Ferrari? Shaq had to replace the soft top with a custom to no cover to make it a forever convertible. The factory fuel tank was changed to a special front mounted tank to allow the owner more leg room, setting the seats back nine inches. Also, the two-tone black and gray interior was modified with wider aftermarket seats, adding a Shaq Superman logo. Plus, Alpine added their custom sound system, so Shaq could listen to his four self-recorded rap albums. The license plate Shaq F1 alludes to the 355 Formula One inspired paddle shift transmission. In 2021, the car was sold at bringatrailer.com for, you won't believe this, merely $65,000. Not every day do you get a chance to buy a Ferrari for such a price, especially such a legendary one. Polaris Slingshot. This one is technically not a car, but an open air roadster. However, it's still a fantastic ride. Shaq owns two custom slingshots, but one of them is definitely more visually appealing and is affectionately referred to as the Sling Shaq. As with most of his cars, Shaquille O'Neal had to get his slingshot extended so the driver's seat had extra legroom like most of his vehicles. It was also enhanced to seat four instead of the standard two with a stylish red and black paint job. The slingshot has an outstanding stereo system with extra speakers behind the rear seats. Slingshot has no roof and no doors just a tiny windshield. It's powered by a 173 horsepower 2.4 liter four cylinder GM Ecotec and weighs less than 800 kilograms, meaning it hits 60 miles per hour in under five seconds. Lamborghini Gallardo. This Lambo was discontinued in 2014, but it's worth over $200,000 and comes with impressive power, boasting a V10 5.2 liter engine capable of 543 horsepower. Since the original aerodynamic design of the Gallardo couldn't support Shaq's body, he had it modified to be a bit wider and a bit longer than usual, having an elongated roof and windows. Thanks to the Gafoglio family metal crafters, Shaq can now fit comfortably inside his Lambo that was extended by 12 inches. Although the structural changes could affect the vehicle's speed, the former basketball player was probably aiming for the aesthetics anyway. Mercedes Van Though Shaq divorced a few years ago, he still acts as a parent to their four children. He needs a classic dad ride. His Mercedes-Benz Sprinter can sit up to 12 and can quickly transfer into a home. The most prominent unique feature is its hardwood floors installed by Sprinter Vans of America. Of course, Shaq spared no expense on the inside essentials. A powerful stereo system, a huge flat screen television, a mini bar, cushioned leather seats, and even a built-in iPad. Big Hoffa, customized tour bus. Did you know that Shaq has a Sprinter van and a plane? Like these weren't enough. Shaq also customized his tour bus. He also had a motorhome that was shockingly even bigger than his stunning ride back in the day. The interior obviously grabs all the attention, but the outside is also something to appreciate. The truck perfectly pays homage to Shaq's career, and it also features a classic DNG logo on both doors. The car isn't hard to spot. It's got the word Shaq literally written all over it. The big man wants all your attention. Vader car. This one is probably the most unique in Shaq's collection and is one of the most valuable too. He bought it from Supercraft Custom Crafted Cars with all the essential specifications for Shaq. Although the price is unknown, it's estimated to be around $150,000. Unlike the standard Vader car, this piece has no roof, giving the former NBA All-Star adequate headroom. Plus, it's enough to accommodate his height. It also has an upgraded speaker system and wing doors for easier access with a sick red and black color scheme with rims to match. Customized Chevrolet Express G1500. A Chevy Express fan has an outstanding quilted leather interior made by Louis Vuitton. It has a lowered air ride suspension and 20 inch rims featuring a 100 inch HD film projector and an Xbox. Big Aristotle has been regularly driving this piece for many years. 
he claims the annual mileage is an eye-watering $20,000 yearly fuel bill. Customized Cadillac Escalade, another Superman car. It's a logoed up burgundy colored Escalade that has been heavily modified to include 26 inch wheels and elongated scissor style doors. Thanks to the eight audio bond 12 inch subwoofers and it's 5.3 liter V8, you'll hear it coming. Perfect for the man of steel. Shaq bought it after the LA Lakers third consecutive championship victory. Bentley Azure, Carnage, and Continental GT. What is a US sports car without a Bentley? Actually, the big Shaq just has several. He bought all three simultaneously. Quote, I was playing for the Los Angeles Lakers, a Rolls Royce dealership in Beverly Hills. I always used to ride by it, but I just went in one day. Mike Tyson was in there buying a couple of Bentleys. I had on some shorts and a tank top and flip flops, and I said to the salesman, Sir, how much does this one cost? He said, Can you afford it, Sonny Boy? I was so upset that I bought three Bentleys right there on the spot. Unquote. Now Shaq wonders if it was a mistake just to prove a point. A million dollars gone in merely 10 minutes. Customized Mercedes S550 convertible. One extraordinary purchase. Shaq bought a 2006 S-Class Merc in pearl white with tan hide and then had Ben's Whisperer's Lawrencer take the top off of it to create a very, very long convertible. Lawrencer fitted a muscular body kit with 22 inch rims and adapted suicide rear doors for extra presence. The Hobo Master ordered his masterpiece during his championship winning season with the Miami Heat and this S550 is white hot indeed. Dodge Charger Hellcat, police special. Did you know that Shaq is an actual cop? That's right, he is a licensed police deputy in Georgia. With a Hellcat, Shaq can catch up to anybody he wants and once he steps out, all problems are solved immediately. I've heard Georgia's crime rate went to zero once Shaq came to service. O'Neill should love racing through the streets of the police custom vehicle, and he's probably the most famous cop ever. Customized Dodge Challenger RT Convertible. Dubbed the Shaq Cat, this 707 horsepower Hellcat engine beast is another Dodge from the O'Neill collection. This baby includes red LED lights, special underglow lighting, and a convertible roof. Shaq also applied Hemi decals to the body to make it look like a classy Plymouth Barracuda. This is the ideal car for donut lovers, and Shaq loves donuts so much that he even bought a Krispy Kreme franchise in Atlanta. Thanks to the astonishing work of Drop Top Customs, Shaq's Dodge Challenger comes custom built with a convertible roof and has a V8 engine to power the car through the streets. It also has fantastic comfort customizations with leather suede seating and perfect sizing for the big man to feel at ease inside. Vanderhall Venice Roadster. Shaq dove into the three-wheeled motoring trend and bought a Vanderhill Venice. He's not the only one. Actors Jeremy Renner and Jamie Foxx are Venice owners too. If you've never seen such a machine before, it's basically America's answer to the Morgan built in Utah. Of course, the sports star had the chassis extended, but despite the extra curb weight and sizable payload, the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine can give a spirited ride. Rolls Royce Cullinan. This punctiliously crafted $300,000 all-terrain high body car is precisely what you would expect in a cultural icon worth $400 million to cruise around in. It's not this baller's first Rolls. He's previously owned a four-door Phantom and a Phantom Drophead. The V12 4x4 is named after the largest uncut diamond ever discovered. What a stylish name. However, not everyone thinks it's sparkling. For example, Top Gear's Chris Harris savaged the car on the BBC, describing it as, quote, utterly hideous to look at. Hummer H2S, a behemoth car with custom rims, is precisely what we'd expect Shaq to ride. O'Neill's Hummer 2 might be the most unique that I've seen because of the maroon color and the Superman logo on the wheels that make it pop like no other. The Hummer also has an 18-inch subwoofer installed for ear-popping bass. It's as Shaqalicious as it gets. Superman Range Rover. Boasting a chrome Superman logo on the front, you can easily guess who's behind the wheel of this luxury vehicle. With a chrome logo and other chrome adjustments, like the mesh grille, the Rover is as close to as stock as possible. O'Neill precisely understands that a Range Rover is an ultimate luxury vehicle as is, and just needed some chrome additions to make it memorable for him. 2021 Nikola Badger. It seems like Shaquille O'Neal has gone electric in the last years. At least for now. His Nikola Badger is a hydrogen fuel cell electric hybrid pickup truck that makes 60 miles per hour in less than three seconds. Obviously, it is a beautifully built car with exceptional standards, so we'll see how far the Hall of Fame basketball star rocks it after some pending customization. 